Yo guys, welcome to a new PDC Shield Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we have a very crazy deck for you all. This is going to be a Mewtwo anti-meta deck. So the whole idea of this deck and what kind of inspired me was, well, the whole idea of using Mewtwo with uh, Sable Tar and like Soul Burst was kind of a thing when Rebel Clash first dropped. Some people were talking about how that could be good. And a Mewtwo Quagsire Soul Burst deck apparently made day two. Uh, a subscriber of mine was in live stream I had for the Q3 and was talking about it. So it kind of inspired me to come up with a wacky idea with this because I really like the idea of just powering up a Sable Tar and just trolling your opponent by just taking knockouts with Sable Tar against Dragapult. So the whole combo here is we're going to be using Mewtwo to use uh, Soul Burst GX to put a bunch of energy onto a Mega Tyrantar and Sableye or Mega Sableye and Tyrantar. And then we use Greedy Crush against Dragapult VMAX, and we win the game by just knocking out two Dragapults in one hit. We are resist to Psychic, we have 280 HP. Uh, now, against Pika, we can also use Star Druner VMAX here with Max Rockfall. Um, against Pika, they can't really do much. We have 330 HP, we can put a big charm on it to go to 360, which makes it very hard for Pika Rom to even two shot this, and we just win the game by knocking out two tag teams with Star Druner VMAX in the Pika matchup, or we can go like Star Druner Gate. Uh, greedy crush to Dene. so that's kind of our route to winning the game uh with this deck it's just use mewtwo to power up something on the bench we have quagsire to wash out and we can combo that with super scoop up just as like a little cute little heal combo i uh, got in the deck so before i get the video guys crush out to our sponsor car and tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pcg or pack codes guys head over to car and tcg uh, if you guys are still looking for a clash codes you can pick them up over there of course so if you have any codes or cards laying around you don't want to use and you don't need uh you can give them the card cabin tcg guys and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for your bulk cards or codes that you trade into them um and of course, guys, if you're still looking for PCO codes in general, guys, head over to Car Cabin TCG and get your PCO codes there, guys. If you're, of course, still looking for Clash codes or any other codes, whatever you're looking for, get them over there. The If you're looking for the pre-release kit codes, any theme deck codes, any specific GX code, I know the uh, Zacian V and Pika, Pika Rom Battle Arena theme de or decks are coming out um, on Friday, which is actually the day you're watching this. So they might be in stock in Car Cabin if you can pick them up quick enough. Uh, the Pika deck has... Four Jirachis in it, just saying. Anyway, so yeah, if you get anything from Car Cabin, guys, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Uh, greatly supports the channel, helps stuff out, and helps Car Cabin out. So shout out to them, use code LDF. So let's take a look at the list here. That was a very long intro. Um, but yeah, the whole combo is very straightforward. We're just going to use Soul Burst GX, get a bunch of energy in play. Now, this deck's, I think, main weakness is decks that can counter you. Um, decks that come to mind are like a little Impersion because you play nothing but special energy. Um... The Giratina can be kind of annoying too with the scoop up net combo uh, just because it can run you out of energy that way um, Maybe like sometimes it can just drop the Giratina multiple times and get rid of all the energy off of Titar Sableye So that was, there are some like counters to this deck um, for sure But it has a lot of just fun things you can do It's a funny troll deck and it's fun to try to pull off the soul burst uh, kind of combo here Now we do have th technically three different attackers We have the Star Druner which I've already went over The Star Druner VMAX of course is here for the Pika matchup we have the Mega Titar Sableye for the Dragapult matchup. And any matchup in general where like Greedy Crush can knock out Dedenne. If your opponent benches two Dedennes and this thing takes two hits, you win the game. It's just that simple. Now I'm also playing a Blastoise. Now this is kind of the late game finisher type of card in matchups against like ADP. Because of course you can use Perfection and copy Blastoise. And since you just Soul Bursted five energy in play, most of the time you'll have like seven, maybe eight energy in play. And then you could just use Mewtwo to copy uh, Jet Geyser, a Rocket Splash, sorry, and just take a big knockout. So that's kind of why Blastoise is here. It's like a late game kind of finisher. It also gives it a reason uh, for Mewtwo to attack. I am playing two Jirachis, two Dedenne, one Eldegoss. Now again, I am playing Quagsire. This is very experimental, but the Quagsire is here because we can combo between two Pokemon if we want. If we want to, you know, if we take a hit from like Titar Sableye, we can, you know, switch into another one and then move the energy uh from that one to the active and then try to scoop up and heal this just as like a troll we can scoop up our dedene gx's to reuse them or get them off the board we can scoop up eldegoss uh we can even just get mewtwo off the board after we do soul burst and we don't want this guy in play anymore we can just scoop it up and put it back into our hand so that's why they're in there but i am playing the quagsire to kind of move the energy around a little bit you can play very tactical quagsire it's not uh it's not super needed but i do like having it um, now, there are obviously another plethora of attackers you can play. Stuff like Zero Aura you can put in here. You can put Cobalion in here. There are a lot of other Pokemon that can be put in this deck for sure. Um, I can't find room for any more Pokemon. But you can definitely try to make cuts for some more attackers if you want. Um, but these are what I'm rocking with. Uh, we go into the items now. I got four Cherish Balls, four Quick Balls, one Evil Wind Sense. The Evil Wind Sense can get you Solgaleo and also Stardurner and Quagsire. Um, and obviously the Cherish Ball for the T-Tar and the Sogaleo, the Quick Ball for the Discards. 
Uh, we got three Super Scoop Up, four Switch, one Catex Well. Uh, there is no Guzma Hall in here. I really want to play it, but I genuinely don't know what I was going to take out. Like, I was thinking, what what would we take good for a Guzma Hala? And I honestly just couldn't think of anything that this deck could want to play for a Guzma Hala. And honestly, guys, I apologize, but I couldn't find room for it. Um, I got one boss's order, uh, one Caitlyn Cynthia to get back some stuff, also as a way to discard a Pokemon, one Mallow and Lana to heal, very important with your T-Char Sableye and Star and Druner against Pika, uh, two Marnies, just because I like having the Marnie disruption, it's still pretty good to just Marnie your opponent, it's very good against Baby Bilcephalon, which is a matchup this deck might struggle with, uh, we got four Professor's Research for draw, two Big Charm to give you more HP, two Escape Board, four Aurora, four Rainbow, and I am playing these two units, now this you can't use with Quagsire, but the two units are two extra fighting and dark energies you could put on your T-Tar and Star Trainer. But yeah, this is the Mewtwo, uh, Solgaleo, Anti-Meta, crazy combo deck, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty excited to try this deck out, and maybe we can take down some Dragapulse and Pikas. Who knows? Let's go show it off. All right, guys, let's get into a game here with our Mewtwo deck. We're up against, it looks like a fire deck here, and we'll see how that plays out. We do win the coin flip, which is fine. I'm going to let them go first because they're playing a fire deck, and if we can go first, we can take advantage of a turn one soul burst not with this hand this kind of gives away what we're playing unfortunately uh, but we'll see what we can do mega titar sableye might not be good we'll see it depends on if they're playing a firebox deck the titar sableye is perfect we'll just have to see if that's what they are playing and all right i'm glad i went first got ourselves a jirachi mewtwo start which is pretty good we do have to research away some important stuff so i might actually bench the aldegas here just so I can maybe do float up at some point and get back, like, the ability to get back Mount Lana. We could also Marnie them. And they start with the Megalopony and Jigglypuff, which is fine. We can try to knock that out with C T Sable Tar. Um, maybe. We have to get extra damage on it. But we can also use Star and Druner. I think they're playing a Firebox deck for sure. So I think we will Marnie them. They have a huge hand. So I think Marnie them is definitely the right call here. And they just pass. All right. Draw a switch. So we're going to Marnie them. I don't think we're going to be able to get this turn one. We'd have to get a few things do have it uh this can get us a quick ball we can get it which it does we don't really have anything to build up though other than we could just go to Dene here actually we'd have to watch over that low punny jigglypuff though because of puffy smashers but we could just go with the dead a change here we could also just get the t-tar sableye and just build it up and just be like what are you gonna do about it bro um but then we have a dead hand you know what I mean? But we do have the Jirachi in play. Maybe we should go for the... I think we just go for the Dene. We have a lot of outs here to finding this T-Tar Sableye. I'm going to try to avoid benching too many Pokemon because of Jumping Balloon. There we go. We got the T-Tar Sableye. We have a Boss Order too, which I quite like. So we're just going to switch or retreat. And here we go. Turn 1 Soul Burst. Let's go put all that energy on the T-Tar Sableye. They are doing a lot of damage with uh, Jumping Balloon. Uh, if we did Marnie them into a Welder and two Energies, or just a Welder and an Energy, uh, Mewtwo is going to get hit very hard here. I don't think they're knocking me out because we only put three uh, GXs in play. We shall see what happens, though. But we can uh, Boss's Order then. We can also just scoop this up off the board and take 60 damage, or take the damage off of Jumping Balloon. We can also Boss's Order if they have to bench it to Dene. Our game plan is pretty much just Greedy Crush to Dene or just knock this out and take out a Dedenne. So we just got to take out like two Pokemon to win this. So we'll see if the T-Tar Sableye gets us there. We do want to establish a Wooper play though soon. There's a Tag Call. That's an interesting card to see in a... F Maybe it's not Firebox because I don't think Firebox would ever play Tag Call. That probably means they're not going to attack me though. Oh, it's a Mewtwo deck. Okay, um, I wish we had this guy built up so we can knock a Mewtwo in one hit then. This might be a little bit more threatening, not gonna lie. Flare Blitz is a little scary if we don't get a big charm on our guy. This could be a little tough. There's a Latios. Okay, so actually, we'll knock that out here if they don't... Okay, never mind. They're gonna get rid of it. Dang it. I was like, all right, we'll just knock out the Latios. Uh, but if they get a Dedene here, we can knock that out to win the game. And they are gonna get the Dedene, so our game plan is knock out the Dedene. I am a little scared of the Latios, though, not gonna lie. Let's see, do they have a Welder here? Do they get the Welder? They play Chaotic Swell. This could actually be an Ultimate Mewtwo deck. There's a chance this is actually Ultimate Mewtwo. I think if we just build up Mewtwo in the active and just use this guy. Yeah, I think what we do, build up the Mewtwo, get this guy paired up. 
This could just be an ultimate Mewtwo deck, actually. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, they're going to retreat into the Dedenne. It's not good for them. We'll see. No, just a pass. All right, you love to see it. We're just going to put energy on our Mewtwo. We're going to switch into Jirachi. Uh, we could take the Great Catcher. Because then our game plan can be just two-shot this. We could... We could... We could just knock out the Mewtwo. We could try to bring in the Mewtwo here. I can't go for a Blastoise. I could try to Blastoise knock this out. Um, but we can't quite get there. I think we just take the knockout with the Titar Sableye. Because we have the two outs to just knocking this out to win the game. Plus, we just have Mewtwo powered up on the bench. And yeah, we should be good. There's Wooper. There's a unit. There's another Mewtwo. And the energies are good. Uh, now I wish I didn't really lose Stun Druner because we could also use that against Mewtwo. We can two-shot the Mewtwo with Stun Druner's attack doing 150, which is pretty relevant. We discarded it, though, and we have no way to get it back. That's fine. We're chilling. We just got to take out two Pokemon to win the game. We can just... We can target the Megalopony Jigglypuff and win. We can also go into a Quagsire. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good idea, though. All right. Let's see if they attack me here. They could KO me. If they have a Welder, and f they could Flare Blitz knock me out. If we do get knocked out here, we just win with Mewtwo, though, with Sunsteel Strike. So, pick your poison. I actually bench the Mewtwo, um, which means we also win by just knocking this out now instead of the Lopunny Jigglypuff. So, it looks like we have game here because they bench that Mewtwo. Unless they get a Jirachi. That's the only saving thing they have. It's maybe a Jirachi here, which, okay, unfortunately they do get. But we also win by knocking that out. So, it literally doesn't even matter. Yep, that's game. As long as we just live the turn here, which it looks like we will, because they don't have much. Alright, it looks like we're just gonna win. They know I have the Great Catcher too, right? Like, they know I have it. And that's gonna be game. Just like that, guys. Soul Burst into a Mega T-Tar Sableye, and just two attacks, and we win the game. I mean, bro, it's just, it's that simple. It's just too good. T-Tar is too strong, bro. Greedy Crush. That's game. Two attacks. Pretty straightforward stuff. We didn't even play against Dragapult and the Titar Sableye is what won us the game. Like, just, dude, look at how good the card is, bro. It's just, it's too good. It's too strong. It's too good. All right, guys, jumping into another game here. We're up against Take here, and it looks like we are up against possibly an ADP Zacian deck. And to be honest with you, I haven't really mapped out a game plan for this matchup. Not going to lie. But what I will say is we got a pretty actually an insanely good starting hand uh we do have the turn one here and it looks like we are up against a zacian deck adp zacian so i mean our game plan is hope they mentioned to dene knock that out and then we just knock out the adp with rocket splash that's really the only strategy we have here to take out this uh adp zacian deck so we just hope they bench it to dene this deck really does prey on your opponent having a dene in play so hopefully they do bench one here we just need, if they can bench two to Dene's even, that's just also good. I doubt they'll do that. But if they bench one to Dene, guys, that's all we have to hope for is a Dene. There's a quick ball. That could get them a Dene. Might also just get the Arceus Dialga, and it is. That's not a Dene, though, man. Come on, Daddy Change, Daddy Change. I know you want to. No, an Intrepid Sword. So rip the Dene. And they get an Energy, which is also annoying. Um, our hand is quite literally perfect, though, so that's not bad. So we'll Cherish Ball for so Galio. We'll Quick Ball. We do have the Boss Order, but that's fine. We do have that Eldegoss, and we will get ourselves the Titar Sableye. We're going to have to just go aggro this guy, unfortunately. Now, the problem is now that this guy's in play, they probably won't bench it at NA, which makes things a little annoying. Hmm. We didn't get much either off of that. We got two more energy, which I don't like. We're going to have to, I think we'll bench another guy. Just gonna go for the Soul Burst here. Not a big fan of this hand, not gonna lie. So let's go. We'll put four on one? Or should we just put all our eggs in one basket? We didn't get a switch. We have two scoop ups, so we can try to heal this thing, which I think is what we gotta do. Hmm. Or should we we should put we could put one here. We also put one on... We could put energy on the active, too. Um, 
Uh, it's fine. We'll just put all the energy on the guy. It's fine. Our hand could be better. That's kind of bad. We didn't really get the greatest hands off that research, which is not good. Our hand is not amazing. And again, I doubt they're going to bench a Dene here. If they do, you know, so be it. I would love to see a nice Dedene come on their bench, but I doubt it. But all we have to do is two-shot this and then hope for the best after that. I don't know if we can pull that off. They actually do lose a reset stamp, which is good. That could be a card that could be kind of annoying. I mean, our other win condition could just be knockout, ADP, Zacian, and then a Ranguru, but I don't think we'll be able to pull that off. I just... They need to bench to Dene. That's like the only chance we have. And it looks like they might quick ball. If they whip the water, they might have to Dede change. If they bench to Dene... Oh, are they doing it? They're doing it! All right, our wing edition has popped right back up. Nice, nice. If they whip the water here, even better. Ooh, they play Power Plant. Oh, well, good thing they didn't have that. And they concede. We didn't even get to do anything. We just concede. You know what? We still be an ADP deck. Albeit, we didn't really get to do anything. But that was just a very, very good start on our end. We had a pretty good hand. We just needed to follow up with that research being a little bit better, giving us a better hand. But that was a great start. My opponent conceded. I think they just realized benching the Dedene probably screwed them over. They probably whipped the water energy too, which is pretty good. All right, guys, jumping into another match here. Uh, we're up against Raspberry Boy with another possible ADP deck. I don't think it is, though. The types kind of match up. We do win the coin flip. We're going to go second, of course, to try to do that turn one soul burst. We might be able to get there. Our hand is not bad. If we can hit a switch here, we do have it. So that's good. And we do get the Star Druner start which i'm fine with stun is probably one of your better starters other than jirachi and mewtwo because you don't really care if you lose it so they do open with a dedene which is always good to see because you know sable tar comes in and buys that and oh they are playing a lightning deck all right this is good so stun is actually going to be useful here so we have a pretty stacked hand of stuff as long as we do have v max which we do we're gonna get mewtwo we're gonna quick ball we're gonna get jirachi here i think Get that guy down. I'm going to Rainbow Energy. Can I win this turn? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't win this turn. Put that there. We'll Cherish Ball for the Sable Tar, I think. Yeah. And we'll go Dead A Change. Here we go. Switch. A, let's go. And we got the Star Junior VMAX busted. I guess we could have went with Stellar Witch there. We don't really care for that. Let's just get a bunch of energy in play here. We can go two on the Star Junior and then the rest on the Sable Tar. Yeah, seems good. Because we can just attack with Star Junior VMAX next turn, or we can go with the Sable Tar in a couple turns. So that seems good to me. I think if they are playing a Lightning deck, both Star Junior and Sable Tar are going to be very good attackers here um, in this matchup. They just concede. We're. <laughs> We're getting like the most super fast games here with this deck, which is pretty good. I don't mind. What were they playing? There was a Pika deck. Yeah, see, they just concede. They're just like, well, I can't deal with a Stonjourner and a Sable Tar. Because against Pika, bro, the Sable Tar takes out their Dedene. And then, of course, you have the Stonjourner VMAX for the Pikas. And they just, they were like, nope, we're not going to be able to win that. All right, guys, jumping into another game here. We are playing against a um, a deck with types, a lot of types. We'll see. This could be a uh, Dragapult deck. I haven't played against Dragapult with this deck yet, obviously, in this video. We've just been getting insta wins or we just win in two attacks. I mean, that's the nature of this deck, right? It's what the deck is trying to do against these big meta decks that we've been running into. Um, so we get an Eldegoss start. We have a Super Scoop up. We don't have a Dedene just yet, though, other than one of these two guys. So not the worst hand ever, I guess. We'll see what we can draw here. If Scoop up gets heads, that'll be amazing. We're probably going to have to get Mewtwo into Dedene, though, with this hand. Unless, hopefully, we can top deck a Pokemon. Um, oh, they're playing ADP times four weakness. That's actually a little sketchy, in all honesty. Not quite sure how I feel about this matchup. Because, like... I don't know. The problem with this matchup is, like, I don't know if they played a Dene. If they played a Dene, and they go ADP, we just have to knock out those two to win the game. So we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully they don't get energy on an ADP this turn. This matchup is a little tough. They have... They have an answer for most types, so, like... Maybe Star Junior is gonna have to be the main attacker here, because I feel like... He doesn't have a grass attacker that can deal with Stun Junior. Like, I feel like the Sable Tar is just too risky. Um, perfect top deck. All right. So, we'll get Mewtwo here. Oh, actually, no. We want to get the Sogaleo because we can use the Quick Ball. 
for the dead and the Mewtwo. Now, do we actually have the Stonjourner VMAX? We do. Get that guy down. We'll see if the Scoop Up gets hatched. Might as well do it now. No! Scoop Up, you let me down. We'll quick ball for the Dedenne. Rainbow Energy here. And Dede Change. And see if we can get a Switch and a Pokemon to go into. We do indeed. It, is ha it does have to be Sable Tar though. Which is fine. Could go Marnie here. Uh ah. Hmm. Don't know what I want to do here. Do I want to go double Sable Tar? No, I think I'm just going to Marnie them. See if we can get Wooper. We do. Nice, 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 nice. I just get rid of this, I guess. So we can get the Wooper. We can also get the Stone Junior. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we should probably just get the Stone Screw the Wooper. And we're going to Soul Burst GX here. We're going to put gonna do this we're gonna go put the energy here we'll put four on the sable tar so we can try to attack with it we're not guaranteed to attack with the next turn though we could also just build up the mewtwo here we just don't have an attack to copy and we'll put an energy onto this guy i don't we'll spread the energy out a little bit i wish we did have a whooper right now we could get a super scoop up though Hopefully I didn't marry them into the alter creation. Um, Mewtwo is kind of a kind of a liability for me too, because I'm assuming my opponent has an easy answer to it. We can't even knock out the ADP next turn. That's the other issue. We don't have a switching card, we don't have a scoop up, so this Mewtwo might be stuck. Unless we can top deck a way to get a Blastoise down, we can Jet Geyser knock him out. Um, we'll see though. That Mesprit can't KO me. What does that do? Oh, Pokemon have no resistance. Hey, look at that. We got a Dedenne top deck. Alright, surprise! No! The Dedenne surprise! No! Okay, well, we can do Jet Geyser here for the knockout, and I think we just take it. I think we just take the Jet Geyser KO. Or the Rocket Splash knockout, sorry. Or we can actually Static Shock knock him out. That works too. Let me save the energy. What's our prize looking like? Rainbow. So, we'll, uh. I don't know. We can Rocket Splash this next turn, knock it out. Then we take all the energy off. We have our Star Junior VMAX, so we'll see. We really need to get a Supporter or a Dedenne ASAP so we can get out of this bad hand. Or we hope they Marnie me. Because we're going to lose. Very quickly. Yeah, they're going to build up this Mesprit. There's not much we can do about that. Unless we top deck Boss's Order. If we top deck Boss's Order, we can knock this out, which would be amazing. They probably play Counter Game, though. Um... Drew a Mallow and Lana. That's good. We can attack here with the Sable Tar. Which I think we gotta do. Keep the Mewtwo alive for later for Rocket Splash. And we'll Greedy Crush. We could play the Big Charm. Don't wanna I wanna hold on. I might need it for Stone Junior V Max. So I don't think they can knock out Sable Tar this turn. I can't really think of any funny Pokemon they have that can knock me out. We'll see though. So all we gotta do is take this thing out to win the game. And then we just take it one more prize. So our game. Our game plan's on board. Ooh, a Tool Scrapper. I'm glad I didn't play that big charm. See, I'm glad I saved it because I get Tool Scrapper. So, we'll see what happens here. Ooh, there. Oh, no, they. Panchan, what the heck is that? If it has a dark energy, so they get a Unergy on it that can attack me. They get an Aurora. They get rid of a Switch. Yo, are they actually about to take out my Sable Tar? Oh, my gosh. They might actually knock it out. What is this weak to? Psychic? Okay, we just knock it out with Mewtwo. See, we're going to lose. We're we're not really fit to beat a deck like this. I'm just saying. If we're going to lose to any deck, I, I mean, it would be an ADP times four weakness. They don't have the um, Azelf yet, which is good. Oh, uh, we really need a top deck here. Is this knocking me out? They had a research too? Oh my gosh. Please whiff the Azelf. We did knock it out, so there's a chance it could be prized. Oh my gosh. I, yo, I straight up just said, I don't think there's anything they can go into that can knock me out, and they just promote a Pancham, and this might actually KO me. Okay, good. They didn't get the times for weakness. Alright, what do we draw? Oh, thank the heavens. Thank the heavens. Alright, this is fine. So...
So we're going to try to scoop this guy up. Oh, I don't know. I, I want to use him for this. I guess we take the knockout with Mewtwo. Hmm. Do we have our Great Catcher still? We do. We need to find boss's order. We could scoop up. All right, let's try to scoop up the Dedenne. Hey, look at that. All right, we just need boss's order for next time. There are right, we get the reset or the research, which is good. All right, perfect. So we'll just knock him out. Uh, we'll take him out with. We'll do rocket splash. We'll save an energy. Yeah, sure. We'll save an energy. I don't know if that matters. We probably maybe should have static shocked him. Uh, but we do have game next turn. Unless he knocks out the Sable Tar. Yeah, maybe we should have just went for static shock. But he's probably going to knock him out the uh, Mesprit. He still needs that Azelf. If he does knock out my, my Sable Tar, that's going to be really bad. I actually don't know if we can win at that point. Because, like, then all he has to do is take out, like, a Dedenne on the bench to win the game so or Mewtwo so it's not gonna look good he could also reset me or Marnie me if we keep our hand though we do have game we have switch we have great catcher we have game on board we just need for my opponent either not to remove this and heal it or to not knock out my sable tar hopefully they just knock out my Mewtwo here research that's a good sign of not getting reset stamped treasure okay that get them as elf which is fine nice okay come on that's all you got that's all you got? No great catcher? Just knock me out. Yes. And that's game. That will be game 400 damage. Jeez, that's nuts. Yo, that Pancham caught me off guard. We got lucky they didn't get the Azelf there, but we are going to win the game here with a great catcher. This was a very, very, very close game. I mean, a matchup like this, you're not expected to win, but we came close to almost losing, and we're just going to greedy crush... We're going to Marty them, actually, just in case. I, I'm pretty sure this is game, but you know what? I'm just going to... There's boss orders anyway, so I'm just going to play it safe. That should be game. We're taking four prizes here, right? Like, I'm just just playing safe, man. Just playing cautious. Don't want to mess anything up here. Yeah, that's game. Beautiful. That was close. That was close. That Pancham almost lost me there, and I think we have a bunch of coins here, if I'm correct. Yeah, we have 305 coins, um, which is lit, so we can buy... A pack from the shop and you know what pack we're gonna buy guys we're gonna buy an undaunted pack because once again i am trying to get myself undaunted packs for the specific purpose of pulling legend pieces because i will eventually return to legacy content i do have some cool legacy content ideas in mind like i'm gonna do deck profiles but i might reach out to some other pokemon tcg content creators and maybe do legacy collab videos just saying just just something that i'm gonna consider maybe doing not anytime soon maybe you know before dark a darkness blaze comes out um get a roton that's not bad i already reverse all though um all right i'll see you guys another all right guys doing another game here uh we're up against it uh, looks like a fire deck now now this could also be a baby blounds which is a little tough to beat um we do win the coin flip we're gonna let them go first of course because we are going to want to go for turn to silver and okay, well, this is an eventful hand. I don't like having the Stonjourner V Max in my hand, but I don't think we need it. It's probably not going to be needed in a matchup like this. I think we just go Sable Tar. We'll see what they're playing. Yeah, it's a fire deck. So this is, I mean, it's tough. We take out one Zard and we take out a Dedenne, we win the game. So that's the play. Hopefully it works. Let's see, will we draw Mewtwo, Cherish Ball, Chaotic Swell? That's a start. We're gonna go to Dene here and hope for the best. Okay, wow. <laughs> well, for starters, we don't have the retreat play. We can guard press them for 40. Okay, let's cherish ball for the Sogaleo. Quick ball. Uh, that was a pretty bad Dede change. We're not looking at much here, which is a little bit of an issue. I don't think we're to the Quagsire. We haven't used Quagsire yet, so I don't know if it's even needed anymore. I'm kind of looking at it now. Do we want to guard press them for 40? 
We can attach the Mewtwo and then possibly Toptic a way to move this guy. So I guess we'll put on the Mewtwo. What is pass? That was a pretty bad uh, start there. If we had a switch, we would have had the Soul Burst, but we didn't get a switch, unfortunately. So we're just stuck with a Star Junior in the active. Which is not ideal. They have a big charm on... I mean, the big charm doesn't really make a difference, though, so it's not too big of a deal. But the problem is, is we just don't have much to work with. But then the big charm, we could have... I guess we could have went for a guard press and then Sunsteel striked them to knock them out. But, yeah. Not much we can really do here until we draw something. If they knock me out, we have Jirachi to fall back on, obviously, which is good. We'll see how that pays off. We just gotta hope they bench a Dedenne. Like, if they bench a Dedenne, we just greedy crush. They could get a Ninetales. There's a Dedenne, so that's good. If they end up benching two Dedennes, we can also win by just doing it twice um oh it's another Mewtwo deck all right Mewtwo welders in full check today apparently um our other wing edition could be Naga Mewtwo with our Mewtwo and the Naga Dedenne with Sableltar or Naga Drachi Dedenne so our game plan is still the same we just need to get a supporter and I don't want my opponent to get the first hit on Mewtwo or Sableltar I want them I want to get the Soul Burst off before they damage one of those Pokemon so hopefully we draw something soon the Dedenne being prized is really bad can we draw something here Hallelujah! Alright, give me a switch. Yay, let's go. Got the Aurora Energy too. So first of all, we'll switch. I'm trying to think. Do I want to bench this other Mewtwo? If they're playing a Mewtwo deck, we can use our own Mewtwo against them. I think I will bench it. In fact, I'll build it up. And we'll put all the energy on the Sable Tar here. Right, let's do it. We also have the ability to maybe rocket splash them if we can get it. We're probably going to Marty them next turn. We have boss's order too, so if we had another way to switch here, like an escape order, we draw a scoop up, we can also boss's order the Dedenne. Uh, we'll see if they welder, knock me out with outrage or, or not outrage, sorry, double blaze. I don't think they can pull that off. Yeah, they don't have enough energy. Mewtwo should live here. I'm a little scared of Teach Our Sableye taking damage, but other than that, our game plan is on board. Knock out Dedenne, knock out the Zard. Pretty straightforward stuff. We can knock out Dedenne and then f do Rocket Splash or something. So we'll see if they can. we can get there. There is a tag call for my opponent. I'm gonna finally find them the Mewtwo, most likely. Yeah, I think we're gonna Marnie them here instead of Research, because we can't really afford to get rid of too many supporters, because we did lose our Eldegoss. I want to definitely try to get this thing out of the active. There's a Mewtwo. And that's our uh, game plan. We build up our own Mewtwo. We can knock it out with Rocket Splash or Sunsteel Strike. And then knock out Dedenne. So we have a lot of things we can do to get into all their Mewtwo's. Again, all those Mewtwo's. We'll see if they have a Welder here for their Mewtwo. Let's see what they got. They're benching both Mewtwo's. That's interesting. So they don't play a Jirachi. They're benching all three of them? What are they doing? Why would you bench all three Mewtwo's? That's a very weird play on my opponent's end. I mean, I don't really... I know, you just you just need one Mewtwo, but whatever. And they get a Sogaleo. Okay, I thought that was going to be another Dedenne. And I was like, all right, we just take out two Dedennes, two, two Gusts. We still have a great catcher too, right? Yeah, okay, good. Let's see. They're going to get a Dedenne again. Okay. That's good. Oh, they're going to Marsh out away the Chaotic Swell. They can get the Giant Hearth. That's fine. If they bench the Dedenne, you know, all we got to do is take out Dedenne. Roar Energy. Get rid of the Sogaleo. If Mewtwo goes down this turn, we're definitely in trouble. Um, so hopefully it doesn't go down. If yeah, if they knock out Mewtwo here, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. We're going to have to Marnie and try to hope our Mewtwo takes a knockout on their Mewtwo. But then we need the Rocket Splash, which we don't have access to right now. Alright, just an Outrage. Nice. What do we draw? Switch? Cherish Ball. Yeah, I don't really want to do research here. So we're just going to Marnie them. Alright, we got the escape board. Not much else, though. <laughs> hmm. They're going to keep bullying me with this Zard, but I don't like this hand. think okay let's play this we're gonna get the blastoise out of the deck that's why i wish i had whooper to quite if we had quagsire in play we could move the energy but we don't so do i want to just retreat into jirachi i think i do 
We are losing energy, which is a little unfortunate. But we're gonna try to get something here. There we go. We got a research for next turn. That's what I was hoping for. This also forced them to flare strike or double blaze. But they do that. Maybe they knock me out. We have 310. We have 110 HP. So they can't knock me out with double blaze, no matter what. We need to try to hit a switch and then our great catcher knock out Mewtwo or knock out Dedenne. That's all we have to do. Our game, like, we have our little, like, win condition on board. It's just we have to execute it properly and we can't we're not really doing a good job at it right now because the game hasn't given me the giving me the juice the juice there's a welder they have two energy though they don't so that's good that's good they could still double blaze me next turn but we're gonna have to hit them with the sable tar i mean we can greedy crush them too but i don't want to use sable tar for that they don't even knock me out okay Please give me a switch or a super scoop up. Yes. Okay, good. Good. All right. So we knock out the Dedenne. Take out this Dedenne. In case they stamp me, I guess. And now all we got to do is just Great Catcher Mewtwo or knock out the other Dedenne. There's a scoop up. There's a Maulana, and what else are we looking at here? Rainbow Energy. So we can Maulana next turn, try to dig for that Great Catcher. I don't know if it's in the deck or not. I wish I checked. But even if they knock me out, we have the other Mewtwo to fall back on. So again, that first knockout there was huge. Huge, huge, huge. And now they have the other Dene in play. All we gotta do is knock that out. And it looks like we're gonna win this. Now, they could Tool Scrapper knock me out with Double Blaze, which would be actually pretty bad. No, there's a, okay, they do have the reset stamp, so I'm glad I put the big charm on. Hopefully we don't brick here. We got the switch, which is all we need, and we have an energy too for our Mewtwo. But it's a unit energy, we can't really use that. I guess we can build up Stunt Junior. We have a Maulana. There's Jirachi, alright, that's another Sable Tart. That does take away our rocket. But I'm gonna bench the Jirachi, they're gonna dump it. So I guess they really wanna knock on my Mewtwo then, fair play. They play Chaotic Swell too, then why do they play the Marsh Shadow? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, we don't have to worry about getting knocked out here by Double Blaze because they did just research. So we can two-shot the Zard too, unless we get this great catcher here. We can try to scoop up to Dene too. We'll go for a double scoop up for to Dene. Nice. We can play another one too. Ah. All right, give me Great Catcher. No, okay. We have Marnie and Research to work with. I don't know if it's in the deck, but we're gonna dig. Still didn't get it. Is it in the deck? Is it our, please don't be one of our last five pride cards. It's prized. Great Catcher's prized. Oof. Blastoise is in our hand too. We would have won with Rocket Splash, but Blastoise is in our hand. <sighs> That's annoying. That really complicates things, not gonna lie. What do we do here? They're down to boss's order, so there's a chance they don't have one. I just... Do we just pass? Do we have game next turn? If we just pass. I think we... Oh, man. Great Catcher being probably sucks. And Eldegoss not being in the deck. Do we just pass and hope they don't have a Gust? Or do we just hit them with Tatar and then knock them out with Mewtwo? But no. They just retreat their own Mewtwo. But then we can win no matter what. Right? We just... We win no matter what. Right? Sunsteel Strike. Two medals. Okay. So the unit counts as a colorless energy. So no matter what, they retreat to Mewtwo, we still win with our Mewtwo. So I think we just do that. So no matter what, we win here. Unless they stamp me again. I don't know. I don't want to risk them just having a great catcher or a boss sorter. Like, we could have passed and then just won the game by going Caitlyn, Cynthia, Rocket Splash. But there's a good chance they have a Gust. So I'm just going to play it safe and just do this. If they go into the other Mewtwo, they, bench, they got rid of their Jirachi, so they can't get that back. And then we just win with our Mewtwo. So, we do win here. It just comes down to what they do. They could do... They might have another trick up their sleeve. 
I mean, something like a Mega Low Punny Jigglypuff would be bad. They are going to Dead A Change again. Yeah, see, they had a lot of dig. Like, they probably would have found the Gust here if they had it. If they actually do do Dead A Change, we'll see if they, um... We'll see if they have a uh, thing. We have 8 HP, right? Okay, good. Let's see if they bench the Dead Egg. That means they can't bench anything else, so we don't have to worry about any other attackers. Their Pokemon coming down. And they're going to do it. All right, did they have a Gust in their hand? They... Did? Is that a boss's order? I see. It is! Oh, there you go! Told you. So, I'm glad I didn't just pass. I'm glad we just stuck it out. We would have lost if we didn't. That was a good call on my end. And there's nothing they can do here. They can't play a weak guard energy anymore. They can knock me out with Mewtwo. What do they even knock me out with? They have two energy on. Well, I guess Sogaleo, right? Yeah, Sogaleo. Never mind. That's gonna be game, it looks like. Unless they Welder Latios me. If they do that, then we have to sit back and get back the boss's order with Kaylin Cynthia. Right, yeah. Send the discard. So there we go. That's going to be game. BD my opponent's Mewtwo Firebox deck. Two Mewtwo decks in, a, in this video, but I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. Uh, we didn't get to play against any Dragapult, which is kind of surprising. I guess it's just too expensive. Some people just can't afford it, so it's not, it's not as popular on the ladder, I guess. But that will be game. We're just going to come in with Mewtwo and knock out their Mewtwo and yeah that's gonna be game against my opponent Mewtwo Sable Light Sable Tar anti-meta box pretty fun deck to play give it a try yourself and you might have fun with it who knows it's a pretty cool deck maybe I'll play it to Q4 if I if I practice with it a little bit more who knows who knows maybe I'll play it again I don't know pretty fun deck to play though pretty cool stuff bodying at my opponents is always nice yeah, great catcher. That was a pretty big prize. If great should have been probably able to one turn earlier. But that was the video, guys, on the Mewtwo deck. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Uh, comment down below any cards you would add. I'm actually curious to see what you guys would do with this deck. Because there is definitely room for improvement. We didn't even get to use our Quagsires. So I can probably see the Quagsire getting cut. I really thought we would use Washout. But we never really got many scenarios where we were able to kind of use Washout and chain multiple Pokemon to try to take hits. Uh, we never really got in scenarios where that was even needed other than maybe that last matchup. So I can definitely see the Quagsires just getting completely cut out of the deck altogether for like a third to Dene, another attacker. Is there Oracle? Baleon could be really good in here too. So yeah, I can see the Quagsires getting cut. We didn't get to use them, unfortunately. So I guess they don't need to be in the deck, but I thought they'd be useful. Uh, we never got to use them. But anyway, so that's guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe down below. How about we're reaching 8,400 subscribers or 9,000 subs? Make sure to check out our sponsor, Card Game and TCG down below too. Use code LDF at the checkout if you get any codes. Follow me on Twitter down below too. If you guys want to see up to all my tweets, I do tweet out decklists early. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.